So hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial on how to use HUD Maker. In this episode, we'll be going over this tab right here called Animate, which allows you to animate your various pieces selected on screen in your, in your HUD. So yeah, let's get straight into it. To start, we're simply going to choose one of our available pieces. So for example, our text, our gauge, our image numbers, actor face, or shape, we'll make it the, uh, I guess we'll just do the face for the time being just to make it a little obvious and easy to test. So to start, as you can see here, there's going to be four sections, X offset, Y offset, scale, and then rotation. Using these four things, we can then customize and animate a specific piece. So for example, let's go to X offset. This is going to allow you to control the X offset and X speed of our little piece right here. So we'll set the speed to maybe three. We'll set the start offset to zero and the end offset to 100, just like this. And we'll make it so it won't loop. Then we'll hit refresh. And now as you can see, our little face is moving back and forth between the zero index or the offset and the 100 offset relative to its original position. Since it isn't set to loop, it's just going to be back and forth but if we do loop it like this as you can see it's gonna go wah, 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 because once it gets to the end it's immediately gonna loop back to the beginning just like that next thing we'll do is a y offset which once again does something very similar which is we define a path based on the y plane for a specific piece so for example we'll do three once again we'll do maybe like 200 refresh and now of course it's gonna bounce from and to the zero offset and the 200 offset and then of course we can make it rotate or i mean loop just like that to make it loop just like that the scale section allows you to set a scale animation that's going to make it turn bigger or smaller based on what you input right here. Someone's going to want to put a speed of maybe like, I don't know, 2. We'll set the start to be 1, which is going to be the default size. And then we'll set the end to maybe like 1.5, which is going to be 50% greater. And we'll hit refresh just like that. Now, as you can see, it's going to turn big and then back to normal size at a rate of 2 speed from 1 to 50% greater than the default, which is going to be 1.5, just like that. We'll make it bigger. We'll set it to maybe like 3, just like that. So <laughs> it's going to get pretty big now. Oh, God. Yeah, and of course we can also make a loop just like that to make it loop all the way back to the beginning once it gets down just 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 like that Yay, and then finally comes rotation. This is pretty self-explanatory once again input a speed like three Input a start rotation and an end rotation. This is gonna be done in degrees So for example 360 is gonna be an entire rotation hit refresh and now of course as you can see It's gonna rotate an entire 360 degrees. So we'll set it to maybe faster so like seven hit refresh so it's going to rotate all the way around. And when it gets back to the end, it's instead going to loop back by bouncing back like that. As of course, as we saw with the other ones. So if you want to make it a completely sealed loop, you do hit the loop button just like that. And then now as you can see, it'll go all the way back to 360. And then go back to the start just like that, making it a perfect 360 circle looping thing like, like that. Yeah. So as you can see, using these animations, you can create pretty complex and cool looking HUDs. But there's also other stuff you can use it for. Say, for example, you don't want to animate, but you still want to rotate something. So then we go to our maybe like, I don't know, our gauge and make it so we want to rotate maybe like, I don't know, I guess 10 to maybe 20 degrees. So we'll set that 20 for the start, 20 for the end, hit it refresh. Or in fact, we'll make it more like negative 10, just like that. So it's going to curve up a bit. So negative 10, negative 10, refresh. Now it's going to go up a bit. We can also set the, um, you know, the rotation to a current number. So we'll do once again, like we'll find the uh, image numbers. We'll once again do negative 10. And then of course, negative 10, just like that to make the rotation occur on the numbers and then move it up right about there. And that should be good. Now we have a rotated gauge. It may look a little wonky, but it's still kind of cool or stuff. Yeah. As for other stuff we can animate, how about we try animating our name? So, we'll set so text is going to be Lyander. We'll set it so it's going to have a little shake effect. So, we'll set the speed to maybe like one to make it really slow. Start is going to be negative 10. End is going to be positive 10. Just like that. And we'll make it so it won't loop. So, now we have this. Well, it's going to a little bit too fast. We'll make it so it's going to be 0.2 like that. Make it pretty subtle. So, yeah, maybe that's a little too subtle. So, maybe 0.5. And that feels like a good speed for our little name box to appear in. So now as you can see, our little Lyander is going to bounce back and forth based on our name of our character. So yeah, as you can see, our HUD still works completely fine depending on what actor it is. And we can go talk to people like this and reduce our health and it all... It all works great. One thing I personally love to do is give it a background. So like, we'll go and create a new like picture like this and we'll make it a, I don't know, like a, we'll make it a magic circle like this, make it like that. We'll set it to a blend of add like that. We'll make it the layer is gonna be like negative four to appear behind everything. And we'll, of course, we'll set the snap type to relative to place it behind the face just like that. And then of course we can go into our animate and set it so our picture is gonna rotate. So like, we'll set it to maybe three. We'll set the start and end to zero and 360 and then refresh. And now as you can see, we have, that, we have that cool, like, you know, rotating magic circle behind our entire HUD. So, yeah, that's that's our HUD. Looks kind of cool, even if you are just using default assets. So, 
y yeah. But anyway, that's about it when it comes to animation. It's very simple, but of course has a lot of possibilities. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. May not have been that long of an episode, but it's, I hope it still helped you do what you want to do. And that's about it for now. Until next time. Be uh, yeah.